Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Ramble 90. Yes, I'm calling this one 90. I privatized my previous two videos of Ramble 90 where I talk about the Save A Cast art competition and then the apology video right afterward. I just decided to privatize them. I figured everything's been squared away. Everybody has been made right after that situation. Yes, I fucked up. I apologized. I want to move on from it. And I just don't want people to go back into a video that has half of the story and then they think like very negatively of me or anything. So I just figured everything's settled. I want to move on from it. So I just got rid of those videos. Anyway, this will be the new Ramble 90. And uh, there's a few things to talk about. In fact, this might be kind of a beefy ramble because I want to talk to you guys about Bard. Yes, caveman only. Screet Monge, Gentle Tractor, they all collaborated together and made a brand new Reddit post, and I want to go through it, so it'll it'll be chunky. This one will definitely be chunky, but before we get into that, I just want a few updates. Uh, I realized when you go to your Runelight screenshot thing, like when you right-click the camera, um, there's a new folder, and it's actually been there for quite a while, it looks like, but I didn't realize there's a collection log folder. And it's been updating since June of last year. So I figured it'd be kind of fun to just go through every single new collection log I've gotten in the past like eight months for those that are just wondering of uh, the new collections log. So here we are. We're at 1041 and I believe this one starts somewhere in the 900s, like early 900s. So without further ado, let's just uh, go into it. So uh, I kind of got like the little screen region correct. Hopefully it looks good. Uh, basically, I'm just going to go backward because this is June 18th. And as you see, every new collection log has the date under it. So I got mummy legs. Oh, by the way, that straw hat was for the elite clue step. I don't, I still don't have the farmer's outfit. I just have the hat. <laughs> uh, we got the mummy legs. We got, oh, this is when I started Fasani's. Of course, I spooned the sleepy tablet. And then I got my inquisitor's mace, which was fucking unreal. Um, this is where I got those egg sacks. As you see, they were one kill. I'm pretty sure they were just one apart. Maybe they were two apart, actually. Um, Spirit Flakes, you know, Soaked Pages. Hill Giant Club, Spooned as Hell, 28. <laughs> God damn, I'm so lucky. Tackle Box is really nice. I'm still looking for the barrel. Uh, Staff of Bob the Cat. This is where I just kind of went for some collection logs. Just like some easy ones, so... I got all these scrolls. That was so fucking easy, by the way. If you ever want just like a free 10 collections logged, just do that Fossil Island stuff. Um, Then I went to Tower of Life. Got all these things. It was kind of obnoxious, but it was kind of fun. And then I just did <laughs> licks of little grinds. This is all off stream, by the way. October 11th, I went for some bronze boots. Um, I just got a few like Slayer logs I figured I could get real easily. So that was nice. Um, this is actually a really good. This wasn't even on task. This is just me doing it off task, just chilling. Um, yeah, but I got a lot of just random shit. And then I bought some stuff at Hallowed Sepulcher, of course. I got all. I'm pretty sure I got all the special attacks. Yeah, got all those. Yeah, Dragon Pickaxe upgrade. Again, it was just to get logs. It's cool that I had this open. So it kind of shows where I was at at that time. All right, Jar, Jesus Christ. Oh, God, it's going to give me PTSD looking at. <laughs> For those that don't know, I'm actually over 2,600 dry now of a sigil. Yeah, this is getting pretty bad. Um, Again, I've already completed revs, so this stuff's all kind of uh, just irrelevant. I've already gotten it. This is where I was doing a fun little bulwark method using the Gommel's Hilt. I eventually switched to the Diary Cape, but I would just restore my bulwarks back at this altar and then return back. It was all off task. I was just fucking around. Uh, yeah, this is where I got my one ticket. I've already gotten the pirate hook and everything, but again, that was... Uh, apparently, it wasn't before log. It's just they didn't have the ticket added to the log, and so I just went to go get my ticket because my pirate hook is in the log. Zombie monkey, let's fucking go. That was when I got 2,000 laps, for those that didn't know. Yeah, got all those. Blue Graceful, of course. Um, I'm trying to, damn, this is, it's crazy looking back here, because uh, 
I feel like I've kind of already shared this with you guys, but it's kind of cool to see the pictures of it. I hope you guys kind of like this. Something I kind of want to upkeep as well. Whenever I get a new collection log, I can just go to this folder and show it off. So, oh, this is where I did this collection log, this whole place. Um, not bad, by the way. This is actually kind of a fun grind. It took me like six hours, though. So there's all that shit. Miss Battle Staff, fuck me. <laughs> we already had a bunch of Miss Battle Staffs, but of course that were they were pre-log. Um, yeah, there was some Mahogany Homes stuff I did. I really enjoy Mahogany Homes, by the way. I'm a huge fan of it. I think uh, what would be kind of cool is if they added new rewards to the shop and potentially like some new houses as well that you could help fix. I, d I know they don't want to go like overboard and make the minigame too complicated, but it would be kind of cool if there was like a... I don't know, just an advanced sort of one you could do that has just more options. I don't know, be something for the future. It doesn't have to be anytime soon, of course. Let's see. Oh, that was where I did my... Yeah, that was that was crazy. I can't believe on 100 KC and a huge fucking mass. I got Zara Fam Races day one. That was crazy. Um, yeah, a bunch of random ancient ceremonial stuff. I love this. I really love this little... Folder. This is really nice. Oh, that felt so good. The Torva Helm. Look at that. Okay, by the way, look at this. 938 KC. Torva Helm. 957 Nile Horn. Uh, it doesn't show, but it was like 1000, I think. Next sling. And then I got Torva Play Legs 1018. Like, so fucking smooth. And they were all four mans, too. Gilded Cemetery. Jesus, what is this picture? Like, god damn it. <laughs> You can't see shit. Um, oh, that was when I got my second hilt. So I just fucked around off stream one day and just went and got a Ceridome and hilt real quick. That was nice. Oh, that was a good moment getting the Dagon hi-hat. That was also in the video, the Slayer Guide video. Uh, Herbivore, very cool. That was completely unexpected. Gilded Boots, of course. And the, ma and the mask came with the Gilded Boots. That was really cool. Bunch of like random medium stuff. This is where I got the champion, the hobgoblin champion scroll, and then the zombie champion scroll within like seven kills. Like it was nuts. In fact, look at the range XP. Oh wait, yeah, it shows it. One six 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 seven two. One six 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 seven three. Like what the fuck? I literally just went there right after. That's insane. Again, just random uh, medium things and a lot of these i've already gotten because i did like 350 me I, I think i did 400 mediums before log so a lot of the stuff i've already had joker champion scroll let's fucking go then i got mystic boots off stream as i don't know if i remember or i don't know if i told you guys but i'm now three of five mystic i'm just missing the row bottom and the hat so yeah that's pretty cool Imp champion scroll, that was amazing. Let's fucking go. That, oh, that was awful. <laughs> that was, I do not recommend this grind. It's fast somewhat, but damn, it's tedious. That was the champion's cape. And then, of course, yes, I got pet Criara like an hour ago. So, I wanted to uh, kind of lead it up with a surprise. But uh, you guys, th those that are following my Twitter already saw it. But yes, I did get pet Criara today on task. Still in the... Uh, I still have actually part of that Criara task to go. Let's see. Yeah, so that was absolutely fantastic. One, like I think, the best pet to get early at God Wars. So, um, so I have two God Wars pets now: Nexling and Criara, which is kind of cool because uh, for a while I had no God Wars dungeon pets, and it uh, feels like I'm making a comeback now. It's not like I deserve them that hard. Like I've done over. Actually, I'll just show you real quick. I think I've done Commander Ziliana 779, uh, General Grardor, almost 2,000, and then uh, Krill. Where's that? Like 1,300, and then we got uh, Kriara as well. So it's like I definitely deserved a traditional God Wars pet at that point, so that's cool. If you consider Nex as part of you know God Wars, that's cool as well. So now I'm kind of overrate if you conclude next. It's kind of nice. Or uh, underrate. Or over, I don't fucking know. I just have. I'm good now. I was, that is what I'm trying to say. I'm chilling. And I'm actually not going for 
all pets actively. It's just something that'll come passively, but it's really cool to just get a surprise pet. So we're at 26 now. Um, I'm trying to think, like, if I were to get a new pet, what would it probably be? And I'd probably say... <laughs> Uh, Rift Guardian because of the RC mini game coming out. I could get a Chompy really quick if I wanted to. Uh, Giant Squirrel is what I'll also be going for when Hallowed Sepulchre gets Elite Clues. So that'll be really cool to get. I really want to get the Skilling Pets. In fact, this looks really abysmal because like the Irby Pet's not in here. So it looks like I've I've had two Golems, by the way. but Or Golems. These are pronounced Golem. And I, for my entire life, have said Golem. Uh... Yeah, anyway, I gotta get used to saying golem. They are golems, guys. They're not golems. If you're like me, don't say that anymore. Yeah, so uh, not actively pet hunting, but this is fantastic. So I'm still missing the hilt, as you guys saw. So I will just continue for the hilt. But oh my god, that's such a good feeling to get the hilt and be done forever here. Yeah, um, by the way, my setup was really cool. It was um, using ZCB with a twisted buckler with Arma. I, I could use Crystal, but I kind of like the Arma because it just has that little bit extra accuracy. And it does have better melee defense and mage defense, of course. Kriara itself, would you would tank more with this because it's range. It goes off of your range defense. But I think Arma's worth it. Um, and I would bring Thralls and Death Charge, and then I would just main the ZCB. This, this thing has a fuck ton of defense, just randomly and then the bit the buckler as well makes it a dirty combo so i would just use uh dragon diamond bolts and it was it was pretty chill i'd get about 15 to if i got lucky 15 to 20 ish kills a trip and i'm just pretty much afking at that point you know you just summon your thrall afk in the corner and uh if you actually go to the southeast corner and just chill there every single kill the minions will line up perfectly so that the mage Attacks first, then the melee, and then the range, all within one tick. Or, all, sorry, all within a tick apart. So, it was really nice because, like, you finish off Kree, and you're already in the rhythm, and then you can just not take any damage to the minions. So, yeah, I, I think I actually prefer bringing Thralls over, like, Ancients, and then Blood Barraging at the end. I just bring Bones to Peaches tabs. So, anyway, very nice. Uh few other things I wanted to talk about. So I am getting a new PC. I have ordered one. It is pretty expensive, but I've had my current PC for over three years and I originally got it pre-built for like 800 bucks. It is a piece of shit. <laughs> I've gotten a couple upgrades over the past three years, but it's still just, it's, it's dying on me. I can barely edit videos to be honest. It will, like, if I do things too quickly in the editing software, the whole program will freeze. And then my computer will, like, blue screen some of the time. It's bad. And I know there's probably some other fixes I can do. When I get the new PC, I'm not going to just trash this one. I'm going to do, like, a full reset sort of thing. And then I might use it as, like, the computer to just just stream on. Like, so I could just use that for streaming. And then my new PC, I could kind of keep fresh. We'll see. I don't really know how to do all that, so it sounds a little uh, inconvenient, but maybe I'll ask somebody in the community to like help me out to figure out how to stream on one PC, but play the game on a different PC, you know? Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm really excited about that, by the way, uh, and just to be fully transparent, I have been a player. I am, uh, okay, let me, how do I phrase this? I'm not a traditional gamer. I like RuneScape. I'm a scaper is what I consider myself. But I have been watching a little bit of Elden Ring <laughs> from some streamers and stuff. And I'm not going to fucking lie. I really want to play that game. And it's so weird because I never have these feelings of like wanting to play a different game. In fact, like, yeah, it's been so long. It's so weird. It, it's kind of scary. <laughs> like, it's scaring me. I'm like, oh, shit. Am I going to become a normal gamer and like burn out of RuneScape? But... No, I think uh, I think it's because I'm getting a new PC, so I could actually run the game uh, and make it look nice. I'm really excited, and uh, I think I'm going to do a little playthrough. I doubt I would stream it or make a YouTube video of it or any YouTube series. I just don't think you guys would care enough. I've never played any Dark Souls games or anything, so I have no idea what I'd be doing. If you guys are interested, you can leave it down in the comments, but I feel like for the most part, I'll just play it in my free time and just enjoy something for once. <laughs> like just, 
<laughs> that sounds bad, but like just enjoy something that's not RuneScape for, you know, a little bit. And I'm pretty sure if I played Elder Ring or Elden Ring, sorry. If I played Elden Ring, um, I don't feel like other games would hit the same after that. So I think it's like a good thing in a way to just play Elden Ring and then be like, oh, every game's shittier than this. So now I, I'm not like, I don't know, as intrigued to play other games and then I'll just go back to RuneScape. But yeah, anyway, um, let's move on now. I've been talking for a while. I want you. I want to talk about uh, Bard. Yes, 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 Bard. This is crazy. Um, legitimately, I'm really fucking excited for this. So, I'm trying to think. Should I pull it up like this? Maybe I should pull it up like this. I think this would be better. I was considering doing the full screen one, but I think the text just gets a bit smaller for you guys. So, let's get into this. I need to preface this all by saying I am on Team Bard. Yes, hashtag Team Bard. If I had any, if I could choose any skill to come into the game, it would be Bard first, and then Sailing for second. Like that would be my second place vote. And uh, I'm not gonna lie, I was so I was talking to Lelador on the Sebe cast, and I honestly believe that we will have a new skill in the game within three years. I really do think that's a big possibility. So, and I would really love to see Bard. Anyway, I kind of want to get into this. Uh, I'm not going to read everything, mainly because I've already skimmed through it and it's a fuck ton to read. But if you guys want me to do a full read through on a secondary video, I can make it like tomorrow or something. And you guys wanted me to just make a full thing where I just read the entire thing, then yeah, feel free. I will do that. But for this, I just want to kind of talk about the bard experience. Caveman only, Screet Monge, and Gentle Tractor are absolute legends. Humble gamers, they understand how you need to present a skill. With humility and without going too deep into like the, the minor details of it. They, they want to take criticisms and they want to take feedback. And they want to make the skill as cool as possible. So they don't, they're never like uh, set on something. They are, they're very like free flowing with it. And it's really cool to see. So basically, uh, they are introducing a skill where you use music to benefit you around the world where there's, um, let me show, what do they do? Oh yeah, so here it is. So here's the training methods. There's playing, which is just like the traditional easy XP thing you can do. Tuning which you can tune your instruments, make more instruments and stuff, battling and performing. And as they relate later down, battling is something you can do with other players. You can battle each other. I'm pretty sure you can battle NPCs as well. And I believe, by the way. Yeah, so yes, yeah, so it's both NPCs and players. And then uh, the performing is actually sort of as they kind of like to uh, relate it to Sepulchre, where... Normally, playing would be like rooftop agility, and performing is like sepulcher. It's like super high acti like super high uh, focus, and it's gonna take some skill. So it's really cool. And they're using the tick system, so it's gonna be a really rhythmic thing. It's gonna feel familiar, I think, for the most part. If you're like familiar with uh, corrupted gauntlet or solo chambers, things where you have to move precisely, I think it'll kind of feel like that. I who knows? I mean, it'll be up to the devs as well what uh, they decide if this if the skill did pass. Um, but the things I'm just so excited for is just how this is going to interconnect with the entire world. And uh, there's going to be little bard camps where you can chill. There's also going to be a bard college, which we'll get to later. You can make a bunch of instruments. You can fuck around with them. Again, like there's not... They don't go into every single minor detail of how it's all going to work and stuff. They give you excitement like they get you excited about like things that could happen um there's instrument making which is awesome they say they're going to be using fletching crafting and smithing to kind of help make these instruments and i think that's fucking awesome uh there's going to be music workshops this looks amazing by the way imagine like m crafting a guitar <laughs> like think about that you craft a fucking guitar in runescape and you can start playing it and you get xp for it like, there's nothing cooler than that. 
You got like, am I wrong? Like that is just fucking awesome. You can craft these instruments, play them. Um, they're they've even. Well, here, let me kind of go in order. I'm just so excited about this. I want to just cover the things that I found the most exciting. But, yeah, there will be tuning. You get XP for it. And, uh, of course, there's new resources they're coming out with. Bard battling sounds really fucking cool. And especially this uh, combat triangle, musical combat triangle they've been talking about with percussion, string, and wind. I remember in elementary school as a kid, there, I think there was four musical instruments. There was percussion string wind and something else but I'm so, I was so young back then I can't remember it was it was a mural on the wall when we'd go and sing for choir when I was in uh like fourth grade and stuff there's one other one you guys would know what it is but I think this is just a super cool idea and um you don't have traditional HP you have spirit so spirit is basically uh your health in these battles and What's really cool is to to replenish your uh, spirit. You drink, <laughs> you drink spirits, you know, to replenish your spirit. I think it's so cool that they've they've uh, livened up these pubs. You know, there's pubs all around the world that have never had any use, like real use, you know. And I think this is just a really cool way. In fact, something I would love to see. I'm just, I know I'm looking at this shitty pub. This is like that massive one that has nothing going on. It would just be cool. First of all, I know players would just be more active in these areas but on top of that i think you just add more npcs around and give them stories and stuff even you could even add some mini quests with bard itself i think there's so much potential for mini quests uh just around the game giving the game more life anyway um yeah just just really really cool shit uh and xp rates by the way he says it somewhere in here but xp rates are what they imagine would increase up to like 300k XP an hour at level 99, doing the most efficient methods. So it would be a relatively fast skill, but I think that's kind of what's wanted in the community. I don't think anybody in the community is begging for a skill that's hella slow, you know? I don't think anybody wants to like, for a max player, a new skill comes out, they lose their max cape, and now they're getting like 20k XP an hour. Like, I think, I think everyone's kind of in favor of a, relatively fast skill something like hunter where like top xp rates are super high like you know upwards of like close to 300k but you know the early levels take some time the cool thing and the thing i'm looking forward to most is the performing so this is going to be like the high intensity high effort uh and eh, relatively rewarding um little performances you do so you go to these you go perform to royalty or uh to just players i believe i think most of it's going to be like npcs so as we see we see a picture of like king is this king rolled i can't remember his name but it looks like there will be movement involved it looks like there will be um changing your speed and stuff to kind of match who knows how this is going to work by the way i don't think anybody is set on anything in particular and i think uh the, I think as a community, if Bard really did gather enough excitement and the J-Mods wanted to pursue this, we could have a lot of say in how these fights would go down. But one thing I thought would be kind of cool is um looks like there will be movement involved. I think you'll be stepping on these. Uh, and who knows how all this stuff will work. But on top of that, I thought it would be really cool to have a new prayer. Um, in fact, maybe a few new prayers. One of them could be, and I know this is kind of like just going into Guitar Hero lore, but imagine there's a new prayer called Star Power. <laughs> like, it doesn't have to be called fucking Star Power, but imagine you could get multipliers on interesting parts of a song. Like, the you're performing, and uh, you want to use your Star Power to get some more XP, you know? You could just get double XP for that little time, and you'd only have a limited amount of Star Power. And I also thought what would be cool is in battles, you'd have a spirit smite. So when you know you're about to do a lot of spirit damage to your opponent, you can actually pray smite and it could drain it even faster or something like that. You know, just really cool. And there's a lot of uh, potential in this. So again, cool thing about like successfully doing a show is like you would get a bunch of XP, say upwards of 300k XP an hour, like I said earlier, high intensity, and you'd also get rewarded. 
generously, I think, if you do uh, really good. And the cool thing about this is it's not just PVM. Like, there's actually going to be music involved. It really is not just a traditional fight. In fact, I think it'll be a very enjoyable sort of fight. It'll feel like uh, Guitar Hero Battles, in a way. If you ever remember, like, Guitar Hero 3 battling uh, Slash or whatever. And just do it. Like, you know, you get some broken strings or whatever. Got to repair them mid, uh, mid-battle. Who knows how it's all going to work. So, rewards is really cool. And that's what we're all kind of, like, expect, like uh, anticipating. What are, what are going to be the rewards. And they talk about a bunch of different rewards. Um, music, you can make your own music. You get new instruments. Bardic influence was a really interesting thing where, like, you actually, the more you play and the more you do well in performances, you actually just gain influence. But it's not something like Zaya favor. And they kind of bring that up where it's not going to be, like, this horrible thing that's always declining or you always need to, like, keep it up and stuff. Um, anima echoes, really cool. Apparently, you'll be able to, like... Uh, I don't know, imbue creatures or something like that that will help you with skilling. Melody riffs, College of Bards, Ancient Hymns, and skilling raids. So, ve- just fucking awesome. Just such a such a well-thought-out idea of just all these things. Um, By the way, one thing I thought would be really cool with Bard, and I mentioned it on the Gentle Tractor cast. In fact, I'm just going to give it a shout-out right now. I talked to Gentle Tractor for almost five hours, and we go a lot into Bard, as well as a lot into expansions of continents. So, Kingdom of Varlamor and stuff like that. If you guys are interested in that, Gentle Tractor is one of the most well-spoken people in the entire community. Just just a fucking humble guy. Just awesome. So, I'll have that link down in the description if you guys are curious. But, um, this got me pumped. I don't know if you guys, and again, this is so much related to Guitar Hero. I had a huge history with Guitar Hero as a as a teenager growing up. And one of the things was when Guitar Hero World Tour came out, that was the fourth one, there was a music creation studio where you could make your own songs and play them. And this looks fucking amazing. <laughs> like, the coolest thing as well is that Jagex has basically, basically confirmed that the engine can handle things like this, where you can make music. And, uh, holy shit. That's just fucking awesome. This shit's addicting, by the way. Like, making your own songs and stuff and being able to play them. One of the really cool things was this, where, like, you could just be around the game, be at a bank or something, and somebody's playing a really cool tune they made. And you can just listen to it by having this, uh, fourth audio option to turn it up. But... If people are playing really annoying songs where it's just one note super loud over and over, you can just ignore their uh, music and it just it gets silenced. Anyway, just fucking cool. I just get so giddy about this kind of stuff. I've always been a musical person. In fact, my first major in college was music. I eventually moved on from it because I realized I wasn't as passionate about music as everyone else was. Nor, nor was I talented like the other people and wanted to invest my entire life into music. But I still have a, a connection to it. So, this kind of shit just really excites me. Um, So, these are the instrument effects. Apparently, instruments in certain areas will have a a special effect, which is really cool. Again, if you guys really want me to go deep, deep, deep into this, I could read the entire thing and give my thoughts in a long, potentially hour or two ramble. So, just let me know. I'll, I'll get your feedback in the comments. Group buffs, this is really cool. Again, these these are the kind of things that most players think. When they think of Bard, they're like, oh, I get to play music and it enhances whatever I'm doing. That can get a bit tedious, and I understand that, and they understand that. They don't want this to just be something that becomes the meta everywhere. Like, oh, you got to do your Bard, or you're, you're being inefficient. So there would be a lot of balancing to this, but it still is interesting. One of the cool things as well with these kind of buffs is I thought... And I mentioned it in the Gentle Tractor cast. How cool would it be if you were, let's say, a level 3 skiller and you wanted to get 99 Bard or something. Bard can actually pacify creatures and NPCs. You go into an area, you go over White Wolf Mountain, and there's a bunch of wolves fucking you up. But no, you play your little tune, pacifies all the creatures in the area. And then the opposite. If you're a PVMer and you want to just re-aggro everything and just reset the 10-minute aggro timer, boom, play a war drum, you know? 
your AFK and your Slayer task, play a little War Drum, you got everything aggroed to you again. I think this is like the perfect way to, to do that. Bardic Influence. Again, there will be uh, some sort of influence where, you know, you become more prestigious. You become more of a prestigious musician or bard. And just really cool. This this does look a bit confusing and uh, ex uh, overwhelming to some, I imagine. But it's cool because there's going to be so much depth to the skill. It's not just as simple as we kind of all anticipated it being. There's so much depth to this. Um. And this is where they kind of go into it. They don't want it to, to be like original Karen favor. They want it to be non-linear reward structure and just something different and something that's more fun and not something that's failed in the past. Shopscape example is something cool. Again, I don't think Shopscape will be that prevalent actually in the next year. In fact, uh, Jagex has hinted at a new smithing and potentially mining rework where shopscape won't be the thing. But if this continues to be the meta where you're shopscaping, it looks like because, or if you get enough of this bardic influence, you can actually, it'll be kind of like a ring of Charis or Karos or however you pronounce that ring where you can kind of, uh, you know, get your way with people and they can actually give you an increased instant shop or something like that where they're just more supplies that you can hop through. Maybe even, uh, removing sh hopping altogether they could just give you an instanced stock where it just never really or it just is always replenishing really quickly who knows again i'm against shopscape and i think just kind of uh holding on to this way of skilling is a little bad but but it's still an interesting idea anima echoes were the things where you can actually like uh how do they how do they describe it this is so cool. They're bringing, like, lore into uh, the game. Like, crazy lore. Like, <laughs> restoring balance in areas through guthics. Uh, and apparently there's, like, some ethereal creatures and stuff that you can soothe through the music. And just so interesting. So, so fucking cool. Such a cool idea. And y so you would... Uh, animate these anima echoes or you know soothe them with music and then you get little buffs and stuff and i don't think they'd be game breaking hopefully they'd be meta in some situations but i don't think it's gonna dominate the game by any means but it's just cool and there's just so much to it and uh yeah it's just it's just unbelievably exciting in fact i'm not gonna lie i want to get caveman only on the sebe cast I love Caveman Only. Great guy. And I think getting him on, we can explain Bard a little bit more. So let me know what you guys think about that. Down in the comments, let me know who wants Caveman Only to be on the cast. We go into this for a few hours. It'd be amazing. He probably has so much more to say as well. I'm reading this for the first time ever. And I'm just... Or I already kind of read through it for the first time. But I'm just giving you my initial thoughts. I mean, he's been thinking about this for years. So, let me know. Melody riffs. Um, Yeah, this was the... This was pretty crazy. I didn't really know what was going on, but apparently there's dynamically generated resource areas that are hidden in the Echo Realm. Just, how cool is this? I don't know. Is this cool, guys? Am I the only one that's hyped as fuck about this whole idea? Um, there will be new rewards, so they're thinking of, like, granite tools and obsidian tools, and, uh, yeah, zinc ore, brass bars, just, like, what is going on? This is so cool. <sighs> new POH rooms, looks like. College of Bards, so this was the Bard Guild that, uh, Gentle Tractor and I were talking about. A place in Varlamore, so as you see in this map, this is, like... Cabos Lowlands, Raids, and then this is, would be where Varlamore is. And there would be a College of Bards. And uh, there would be a new outfit. There would be some rewards you can get. But you uh, would need to get to a certain level, you know. It requires level 50 to enter. And, yeah, I think it's amazing. In fact, I think what would be so cool about this is imagine getting to 99 Bard. You get your 99 Bard cape. And then there's a teleport option to the College of Bards. 
I don't know. I, th I think that's just so cool. There's so much more to it. I'm skip I'm skimming this so badly. <laughs> so again, I know I've said this four or five times, but if you guys want me to do a super in-depth thing, let me know. Uh, damn. In fact, I'm thinking right now, why would I even do an in-depth thing when I can just get uh, the caveman only himself to just go into it with me? Maybe I'll just skip that and just get right to the Sebe cast. We'll see. Um, so I kind of, uh, skimmed over this, but it looks like there will be some outfit recolors. There'll be some, there's a college library where you can learn about, I don't know, famous bards or something like that. Again, just skimming through it. Ancient hymns. This was really interesting and very confusing to me, but, uh, I just love the depth. I love how far they're going into this. It's crazy. There will be divine instruments that uh, you can, like, basically imbue. You can imbue your instruments. By the way, these instruments degrade over time. And I think uh, you would need to repair them. Or maybe they just fully degrade and then you just have to make a new instrument. But I think it's kind of cool to continue to make instruments. Um, damn. I'm <laughs> I, you, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm excited about this. Could you guys tell? Yeah. Anyway, a lot going on here. I'm not going to try to share everything I know about this because I really don't know much. Rhythm of the Beast. These are like the raids, apparently. So, bard skilling raids. Imagine this. Legitimate raids that you can go on with, like, bosses using uh, your musical talent. And, um, yeah. Powerful rewards. Uh, horn. So this is the rarest and more most powerful instrument requiring level 99 bard. And, uh, yeah, that's just fucking dope. Imagine like walking around with that magnum opus. Use it on a divine instrument to prevent it from ever going out of tune, making it non-degradable. That's cool. Recap. Um, again, he's just kind of going into it and he's just, they, they have, they have thought this out so well. And it got a huge, uh, um, it got a lot of exposure on Reddit with a lot of upvotes. And it's just a very exciting concept. And I think a lot of people are actually really into this kind of stuff. Um, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. If you could have a skill, well, here, let me, let me ask you this. Do you want a skill in the first place? You can say yes or no. And then if there was a skill, which one would it be? I think the most, um, wanted skills are like dungeoneering sailing and bard at this point and i would love to hear what you guys think maybe it's artisan i know there's a few artisan fans out there i think artisan's a cool concept i just don't think it would do well as a skill i think it'd be cool to just have something like skilling contracts and that would be the artisan you get rewards for it go around the world skilling in different areas kind of like slayer tasks but not a skill anyway that's pretty much it and uh yeah, I am fucking pumped. Yeah, uh, just over the course of reading that and skimming through it again, I want to get caveman. Only. I want to talk to caveman only so bad. Uh, and I'm going to make that happen. Going to try to make it happen. Regardless if you guys want it or not, I'm going to do it. Anyway, um, I guess we'll just keep this ramble somewhat short. Not even 40 minutes. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And uh, let me guys know what you guys are up. Let. Bleh. Let me know what you guys are up to in game. And uh, I should be live tomorrow, by the way. I know I haven't been live in a while. Been slightly demotivated. All the drama and shit was, uh, I don't know. It's just been, uh, I've been in a rut the past week. We'll just say that. But I'm feeling good. Uh, should be live tomorrow night doing some corp. Potentially, I want to get that arcane sigil. I'm feeling a lot luckier getting random shit. That Kriara pet was amazing. And I feel like I'm going to start getting some stuff. It's going to start, gonna start uh, pouring, you know, when it rains, it pours. So I'm expecting a sigil soon. I want to go back to Nex as well, get my Torval Plate body. And I'm still hunting that Eternal Gem. So that's it for me, guys. Thank you for listening as always. If you're not subscribed, please consider it. It really helps me out. And like the video if you uh, enjoyed it. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.